Hi everybody. Um, I'm in the mood to play with my gel plate, but not knowing what exactly I want to do. I just want to play and experiment and see if I can find anything different that I haven't done that I like. So I do have one idea in my head. Not exactly how I'm going to do it, but I guess a look maybe that I want to go for. And the thought process is for the first layer to be kind of like a more of a watercolor look. Just like, you know, faint. Um, more translucent. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm thinking that for the first layer and then like build up on the layers but not um, not a multiple layer one pull but multiple layers as in I'm going to be constantly pulling things off the plate onto one sheet of paper. So I thought I would try first for a watercolor look um, maybe some sprays and honestly like I said I don't know what I'm doing I don't have it all planned out so I may say one thing and then change my mind part way in so to get started for my paper I'm just going to use regular cardstock so for the first layer I'm not going to have add any stencils or anything. I'm just getting a background on the go. So I'm going in with some shabby shutters and some tumbled glass. And I'm just going to spray that on. Oh, and of course we have it's going to be noisy and I apologize, but there's honestly nothing I can do about it. We have uh, fiber optics going in, tech savvy. And of course they're working right in front of my house. So it's going to be noisy. Now with the sprays, your paper tends to want to move around, so I'm just patting. I may pull this one print and be like, nope, don't like it. <laughs> I can feel a bubble in my plate there too. Oh, and by the way, I'm using a 9 by 11 gel plate. I'm not sure if I said that. Oh, that's not bad. Like I like the colors, the only part I don't like is where I guess it got too wet. But other than that, like I really like the colors. My camera's going to die so I'm going to have to change the battery before I continue on. Okay, so I have my mic set up. I bought a new mic that's supposed to be good for just getting your voice and n not hearing the background noise as much. <laughs> it's my first time using it, so hopefully it works well. So this is still wet. You can still see this, but maybe it'll just add to the background. Who knows? And the truck's moving on now, so you may not even be able to tell if the mic works great. <laughs> Go figure, I spent all that time setting up the mic. And they go away. So I'm going to create another background with sprays using yellows. Maybe yellow, orange, and pink. So I have squeezed lemonade 
spun sugar, and dried marigold. And you notice I'm going with lighter colors because I want to build up. There we go. That is very pale. The pink is really pale. I didn't get the whole entire paper. Even though the plate is big enough, just probably didn't have color on the very end. I'm going to go Okay. So where it's really light here, that's where the pink is. I'm going to let that dry. And I'm not going to get rid of what's on there and I'm just going to go in with let's see more yellow. Try some blue. So if they mix, it'll just make green. And see, we have yellow, blue. Pink is really pale, so I don't want to bother. I know it's darker, but I'm going to try some cracked pistachio. That's pretty. I'm going to take this first one back again and get maybe some of that cracked pistachio in there. Just a little bit. Just going to splatter. gonna grab a darker pink but not too dark maybe some worn lipstick so I'm liking that splattered look I think I have a dropper so I want bigger drops There we go. I'm going to put the lid back on so I don't knock it over. Hmm. I'm going to go in with a little bit of water. So this is where I should have used watercolor paper because this is just cardstock. I'll take this one. And 
maybe some, let's see, some spiced marmalade. I'm gonna clean my dropper. Oops, I just spilled some on the paper. Abstracty. I actually like that. I like the orange against the rest of the colors. It's very pretty. Okay, where did my baby wipe go? So we have that. That one seems kind of plain now. Maybe I'll go in with some more spiced marmalade. really want to add it to that one too. Okay, I'm going to dry these sheets before we move on to the next. Okay, so I've dried my paper on papers and I've grabbed a crafters workshop stencil it's designed by Rebecca Meyer and it's called layered wallpaper so I don't want to get it on the entire sheet of paper I'm really nervous because <laughs> I really love the look of this but I don't want it this plain like I want more to it so I have shimmering alcohol inks. Oh, they're both shimmering alcohol inks by Christy Taylor. And this one is an orange and this one is a brown. So I'm gonna just try putting some down. And I kind of want the two to mix because I like them together. I'm just taking a brayer that I don't care too much about just in case it wrecks it. And I'm gonna pull that off. And I want it, oh, I put it in the wrong corner. I'll flip it and I'll put it there. Ooh, it's really smelly. And it came out as a blob. <laughs> I wonder if that is still wet. If I lay that down, if it'll transfer onto... It did turn out like a blob, but it's still... It's a pretty blob. <laughs> oh, it did. It was wet enough that it still transferred onto my plate. Oh, that is so pretty. Like, it's very faint, but it adds some beautiful extra layers.
and I'm just testing it. I don't know if there's enough left to get anything. No. I hope you can see that. It just looks so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to try that some more. So I'm going to lay it down. I'm kind of wondering. No. I'll do what I did before. I'm going to go in. Can I have to squeeze the bottle a little hard? It doesn't want to come out. There we go. Now I probably have too much. So I'm going to roll that out first. And then the brown has a lot of shimmer. The orange does as well, but not the brown looks a bit more metallic-y. I'm going to lay this one on here. Just gonna do oh, needs more than that. It's not showing up a lot. I think it dries really fast on the gel plate. You can see some, but not a whole lot. I don't know if it's the colors, but it's not showing up a ton. I'm going to try just the brown. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to go in with this one. Hopefully that's still wet. <laughs> so I'm doing double duty. I'm getting what's on the gel plate onto the one paper and then I flipped it so the wet side is up and I can get, if there's anything left on the stencil, I can get it on this paper. It's not showing up a lot, but it is great for building the layers. Wow. That grunged this one up a lot. This is actually quite beautiful. That is gorgeous. It's not even what I wanted, but <laughs> it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I don't think there's going to be anything left. So pretty. I am really liking this. Okay, I'm going to try some of the orange. There we go. get a different stencil. It's another crafter's workshop and another Rebecca Meyer. I'm trying to go fast. <laughs> and it's called Distress Lace. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with this one. So 
See again, it's faint, but it's really building up the layers. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is. I'm going to put this one down. And then wet side up and go with this one. And I'll try that again. anything came on that one. Nice. I'm still in love with this one. That makes me so happy. I'm so glad I'm recording it because I probably wouldn't remember what I did. I have one minute left to this battery. The one that was in the charger wasn't fully charged. I'm so sad because my other one is not charged enough yet either, so I'm going to have to pause playtime until my battery's charged because I don't want you guys to miss this. And I want to remember what I did. <laughs> so. I guess I will go do something else that I need to do until my batteries have charged and I can come back and play. Okay, so I wasn't patient enough to let my battery fully charge, but I have 87 minutes, so should be good. So I grabbed some paint, so I'm thinking for the next layer I want it to be a bit more bold. So I have my Dina Wakely Media Paints out. I'm trying to decide on colors to go with this one. I'm thinking umber. And I'm looking for night. I'm trying to find it. There we go. And try and see if there's anything else that I'm wondering if maybe peacock or ocean. So I have Umber, Night, and Peacock. And I'm choosing this one to work on first because it's my least favorite of the three. Not that I dislike it, it's just the one I absolutely love. And I'm afraid to do anything to it, afraid I wreck it. And then this one I like a lot. Not as much as the other one, but I do really like it. So I'm testing it out on my least favorite first. That way, if I can tell just by the first thing I do that it's a no-no, then I'm not going to do it on my good ones. So, what now? <laughs> I think I'm going to... Like I said, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm going to put some, and I didn't clean my plate. I was going to. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there is some shimmer left from the alcohol inks. So I'm going to leave it and see if anything becomes of it. Okay, I'm trying to squeeze out some night paint. And a little bit of umber. That umber looks so disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it does. <laughs> it looks so gross. I'm 
Oh, a little bit of that paint goes a long way. And I don't want it to be bold. I'm hoping for it to be a little more distressed looking and not crisp. So I'm going to lay that down. And I'm thinking I'm going to just take a piece of scrap paper. Oh, that took out way too much. So I just want to, okay, maybe not the paper, maybe I'll take a slightly damp baby wipe. I'm just trying to get rid of a little of the paint so I'm not getting such a crisp image. Wish me luck. I don't mind that. Okay, oh, that's not the one I was using. <laughs> Just lightly going over because I know I have a little bit of paint on my brayer. And this is way more than I want on any of the prints. So I'm gonna do light brayering just to remove some of the paint. Now I don't know if it'll be too dry. Well, not really. This one grunged up a little bit more. I'm going to great grab that favorite. <laughs> Now that I have it, I'm like, am I? <laughs> I just love this so much. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I am. I really don't think I'm going to do more to that. Not until I see. I just love it too much. Now, this is not going to come up on its own because it is dry. So I think I want a little bit of grunge, like try to picture a little in my head what I want. And I feel like I want a little bit of like brown. Sedona. Trying to see. No. I don't know you guys. It just looks so so gross squeezed out. Looks like really bad baby poop. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it does. 
I'm going very lightly. Oy, wish me luck. It's not really what I want. what's on the plate I think actually before I do where's that peacock I'm gonna get an extra gel plate for a palette like I like to do I'm going to squeeze some peacock onto the palette and get everything else out of my way. I'm going to grab, I know which one I want, the circles. Tim Holtz dotted. gonna put some out through the stencil and just pull some extra maybe I'll go with some I want like a pinkish color but not too dark and not too light. I'm not being picky at all. Color exists in my head. <laughs> but I don't think Dina has what's in my head. I wonder what eggplant would look like. I'm gonna try it. I know, calm down. <laughs> I'm gonna use this bigger one that we used before. It is layered wallpaper. So again, I'm gonna do it like before by squeezing some out onto the small gel plate. Getting some paint on my brayer and then choosing where I want to put some. I have a hair on my plate. There we go. Not really getting a whole lot. Which you think I wouldn't be complaining about. I mean, it is a purple. <laughs> I want to do. Hmm. This is going on a completely different print, so I don't know. I'm just gonna just gonna try something. I'm gonna grab Distress Lace. It's another Crafters Workshop. Rebecca Meyer. I'm gonna use the 12 by 12. 
And I want to go in with some of that Juno Brown alcohol ink or shimmering alcohol inks. I may regret this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling the need for a little bit of brown grungy. And I'm going to take the brayer I don't care about. Try to spread it out some. And now there's going to be some on top. So I'm going to take that and lay it down. I don't know if it did anything or not, but... We shall see. I'm going to give that some time to dry. And while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to choose... First thing I'm going to put top on that. I'm going to choose a color to pull the print. Now I love elephant, but I don't think it would be good for... This one, I don't have her buff, I don't think. Oh, I do. I'm going to try her buff and maybe I may put a little bit of elephant in there. It has dried enough. So I have some titanium buff and elephant onto my side plate there. And I'm just brayering it onto this one. Now you want the plate to be fully covered but not too thick of a layer. Okay, there are definitely areas that I love. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like this is kind of eh, whatever, but where it's really dark and grungy. If you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.